Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Now today we're going to talk about a very important topic called productivity. Have you ever felt like there's just so much to do and you have like no time at all? There are so many ideas buzzing in your head and you absolutely have no idea which one to start with. And when you actually start doing these tasks, you realize you have no time at all. It's almost like one checklist of tasks gets over and you see you have another checklist of tasks to do. I think most of you can relate to it and so can I. Being a social media strategist where I'm helping my clients run the business, build the brand identity and presence while running my events and workshops and being a full-time fashion and lifestyle blogger. I actually wear multiple hats and this is a problem I actually face day to day where I'm just like just so much work to do and I have no time at all. I would read all these articles which would be like, oh, get up in the morning, switch off your phone, but it wasn't very practical because as a social media marketer, I need to be on my phone all the time and I tend to work really late in the night. So then how do I become productive? So in today's video, I'm going to share some of the tips that I have discovered on the way uh, through trial and error, which has really helped me in my productivity. And I really want to share it with you guys today. So the number one tip that has helped me immensely is to write down everything. Now, whether you're writing it down in your notebook or on your computer, it doesn't matter. Think of your mind as a memory box, right? It requires space for every little thought that you have. Now, when it comes to things that I have to do, earlier what used to happen is that I would keep it in my mind, oh, I have to do this, I have to do that. So it takes up energy. So what worked for me is actually sitting down and writing all my tasks that I have to do in a day, in a week or in a month, literally writing every point down. You want to free your mind as much as possible from remembering things and use it to actually implement things. Talking about that, point number two, prioritize your tasks. So what I usually do is all the tasks that I have, like say 10, 12 tasks, actually assign them a number, one being most important, three being least important. And I work according to that number. So I try and do all the number ones first and I slowly go down to number three. That helps me prioritize my tasks so that if I don't have enough time for any reason, at least I know that the important tasks are done. Point number three. You don't have to do it all. I mean, in the beginning, when I started my company and I was trying to manage different things, workshop blogging, I was trying to do everything because at the end of the day, you feel that nobody can know it better than you can. And there's a tendency to micromanage and, and see everything is in place. But you have to let go if you are thinking of a long-term vision or of scaling whatever you're doing. So you don't have to do it all. The best decision I made was to hire the smart people to help me out in doing what I do. There are a lot of resources and groups where you can hire virtual assistants, associates, interns, assistants to just help you reduce the task load of the day-to-day -day and help you focus on the bigger things. So always remember you don't have to do it all. If you're struggling, ask for help. Point number four, learn to say no. Sometimes you want to please everybody so you end up saying yes to so many things. But you have to realize you're the only one accountable for your time. You're the only one who can have a control on it. So say no to things that you feel might not add value to you at that moment. Now I know that's really hard and I, I face it too sometimes. But if there's a meeting request or a phone call that you feel may not add value to you during that day, you can always say, hey, you know what, today's a bit busy. Can we catch up next week? So it's important to learn to say no and balance your meetings, your appointment, just so that you can focus on the right things. Point number five, switching off notifications. Now that's kind of helped me a lot. I can't switch off my phone because I've told my team members that if there's anything urgent, they should call me. So that's not an option for me. And I also use my phone for a lot of my work. So I'm online mode most of the time. But I'm also on different messenger platforms, Slack, WhatsApp, Telegram, uh, Facebook Messenger. So what helps me when I'm doing critical tasks is actually switching off the notifications so that I'm not distracted by the buzz or by the sound of it. So switching off notifications when you're working really, really will help you with your productivity. Point number six, do the hard work first. So a lot of you might have heard the phrases eat the frog first, which means do the tasks that are difficult first. I know it's really hard and we tend to push all the tough ones later on, but trust me, 
if you just suck it up and do the tough things first, it will really, really ease up your day and it will make your day much easier. So tough, but try it. Last point and point number seven, which is so, so important. And that is take a break. Don't underestimate the importance of taking a break, whether it's between your work or whether it's just taking a day off in the entire week. For me, the kind of work I do, it's very hard for me to take off one whole day but what i tend to do is i take a couple of hours between work tasks to do things that i love whether it's going to the gym whether it's learning uh, jujitsu or reading a book invest in yourself as well so take some time off spend it with your family cook it off do whatever you need to do but if you really really want to be productive you need to give yourself the energy to be productive and that can only happen when you take a break these are my seven tips that i have personally used to make myself productive again it's easier said than done but unless you try it you'll never know it so i hope these tips were useful and do tell me what are some of the things that make you very productive Hope you liked the video. I will see you next time. You know the drill. Share, like, subscribe and comment. Till then, lots of love.